Firing up the recording, we are now live with game two of Noir 51 and SJW Queen against Evil Smarty and Fjellner Valen, with Evil Smarty and Fjellner Valen taking the first game with a Renekton Ari combo, defeating the Fiora and Mordekaiser combo. Nobody is able to play those champions again, so this is going to be a fresh set of four champions we'll see from both teams. Uh, I guess, though, they're allowed to pick each other's champions, so it's possible that um, you know, we see an item, a champion on one team than, than the other. You know, in our first round, our analysts came back with a 60-40 split between Noir and Evil Smarty. I think that our analysts have come back again, and they've reversed that. Is it a possible? 40 for Evil Smarty, Fail Nervellin versus a 40% for Noir and SJW. We'll see what happens after the second game, though. Is it possible that we see the mirror matchup here? Jinx is locked in by SJW Queen. Is it possible we see a Jinx mirror matchup? Sean is locking in Warwick. Warwick is an insanely powerful early game uh, champion and really powerful in a 1v1 or 2v2 because he does more attack speed and more healing. And it is going to be a Jinx mirror matchup. If this does not go well for the SJW Queen, I worry for her mental and future games. <laughs> I worry for Smarty. Smarty is a great Jinx, but Kate has literally gone on a recently a 12-game win streak with Jinx climbing out of bronze into silver. Her mechanics are so that. polished on Jinx right now. I think this is going to be a, a, a crazy game. Jinx Tom Kench, however, is one of the strongest lanes. You have Tom Kench's ability to save Jinx and peel, You've got the stun, the poke from the lick, and the knockup on the Sh Tom Kench W into Jinx traps is an amazing combo that potentially can CC uh, both of your opponents if you hit it right. So really, really, really strong team comps on both sides here. Um, I think if I had to give it to somebody, I'd have to say like the Warwick is a little bit advantaged because of uh, the, the dueling power, but Tom Kench is no slouch. I mean, I think it's, it's going to come down to who can hop on the Jinx and kill the the other Jinx better, you know? For uh, both teams. <laughs> which Warwick, yeah. Which will Warwick seems, and that's where I think, yeah, the advantage. I think Warwick. if Tom Kench takes the Warwick out of the fight enough times, though, it's going to be quite tough for, for Warwick it's true. to do much. If Warwick falls behind in XP and items, he will not be able to chew through the Tom Kench. But something tells me that this is going to be a game where Warwick runs at Jinx, and Tom Kench runs at Jinx, and the Jinxes are just 80 carats instead of 80 carries. It's going to be about who can last the longest. Uh, and, you know, knowing Kate's conservative sort of play style, <coughs> you know, I, I can foresee it being quite difficult for Fjellner Valen, but uh, I guess we'll see. Oh my goodness, we got the Jinx Tom Kench from Smarty and Fiel. What a combo. It's yep. Warwick Jinx on the other side. We were just talking about the, the matchup saying, you know, this is one where the 80 carries are just going to be left to fend for themselves. I I don't know, but I think the, the Tom Kench is, is uh, much better. Like Warwick jumps on Jinx, Tom eats the Jinx. The, I think the only thing that they have going for them is that Warwick can deal percentage HP damage against the Tom Kench. But with the gray health, that might not matter. So we'll, we'll see what's going on. I'd have to give this draft over to Smarty and Fiel, though. Well, that's interesting. Me and Colin went the other way. Mm. I think Warwick they, has more You know, I have power. to go with Kenny. I, I am going to give the draft to... Uh... Evil, Smarty, and Fiel. So we'll see uh, who's correct in this. 50 yes. 50 yeah, after. I mean, no, I uh, I understand that like Warwick is independently typically a better champ than Tom Kench, but Tom is the thickest boy out there, and 
you know, he he de he deals some damage in and of himself. So, I, you know, we'll we'll see how it turns out. But we have a skin boy. mirror matchup as well. Damn, boy! Damn, boy! That's a thick ass ball. Damn! <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Back to you guys. In the Damn! <laughs> look at look, he's even wearing a bib. <laughs> yeah, he came... This Tom he came, came out ready. <laughs> Okay, for this one, by the way, I'm just gonna try to stay quiet more or less for the color commentary, and I'll 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 hop in when the play-by-play -play fight breaks out. But you guys okay. take care of the the color, and uh, when I start doing the casting, we'll just pause the color. And, and look at this: the mental warfare continues from Smarty and Fial after that. Uh, letting the minions finish the nexus, they're now dancing in front of the turret level one or level three, I guess, but. But not only the double jinx matchup, but the mirror skin matchup too, making this even more spicy. Yeah, who who is more deserving of the skin? I guess is is what this uh, this comes down to. I will say though, this is really interesting to see because this is the only other support AD carry um, that we have seen outside of you two, uh, Colin and Nico. So this, so far, this doesn't seem to be the tournament meta, but. Uh, if there's, you know, if, but if they're both going ADC support, then I think it should be more even than normal. Oh, for sure, for sure. Warwick almost going for something there, but backing off. Tom Kench just getting the licks in on the Warwick. And they do have the level advantage. An engage with the Tom, Tom Kench oh W takes a tower shot. Warwick tanking with his E. With Autos, a stun from I Tom Kench. Kate Warwick hits the traps. Here. Oh, he flashes out of that. Oh. That exhaust coming in very clutch. That's going to be a flash and a heal from the enemy Jinx there. Oh. Another double got slow a onto the she Warwick. Down here. Warwick. Tom and going under the tower, dead. flashes out. That's There's first There's a flash blood. from the Tom Kench. First blood on Fial the Tom Kench. Fjallner Valen is getting inside the enemy's head. Wow, great look there on that double slow damage. Traps behind Jinx, but she is teeing off on that Tom Kench. Yeah, that Tom Kench will get out nicely, though. I, you know, these guys came out to play today. Holy shit. Uh, it's true. I, I, Sean, I was going to say that it didn't matter that Sean was taking that much poke damage initially because Warwick heals so much, but it looks like if you t if you take that many slows, the, the Tom Kench slow, into the Jinx slow, into the traps, into the engage, like, that's a dead wolf. Yep. Tom, Tom and loves that, me, did that Tom gamey Kench taste. Did Tom get a new <laughs> ultimate recently? Yeah, the rework no, I... on Tom basically replaced his old W, which was his Eat, um, and they made his Eat his ultimate now. And his new W is that long-range teleport where he pops up, knocking up everybody in a circle after a second uh, of wind-up. Yeah. It, it was his old ultimate that they kind of just, like, reworked a little bit and then threw it on a lower cooldown and gave it to him as his W. So I think ideally Tom and Jinx are going to want to, I mean, if they get the kill here, they're going to want to die right after because they want to come back with items. They don't want to, you know, they don't want it to swing the other way where they're stuck with low health. They, you know, they win this. And... Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it shapes out because we know from last time with, with the Ari staying alive for so long that she came back and just ran train on them. So I think in some cases, especially when you're, you have the Look. clear poke advantage like this. Look it's at actually, that. It's not terrible to... Right. Oh, we have oh, the stun interrupting the Tom Kench eat and the traps no, into a Wolf dead. Ultimate. That is a Tom dead Kench Tom Kench. Kate is hitting the slows. Down this jinx. Can the Wolf get anything? No more CC, but that's okay. They're happy to have that. And the kill goes on to the Wolf. So, uh, you know, not onto the, the carry necessarily, but... Um, it looks like Sean's also Kench going to switch buys here, the Frostfire Gauntlet, first item of the game. That'll give him some slow against the Warwick's attack speed. Yep. Absolutely. That first blood did go over to the Tom Kench, so he got a, a nice buy from there. This is one of those things that I was talking about with Warwick staying ahead of the curve, right? Is like, if Warwick can kill the Tom Kench like that, it's it's fine. 
But and once Jinx, the... oh, oh, the snowball yeah. kill, and that's it for that Jinx. First death on the Jinx. Warwick oh. still staying healthy though. PL loves that spot just under the health pot there on the enemy turret. <laughs> it does not move. Both games just constantly pushing. This, and and this area. is where the thick boy comes into play because he really does not care about those turret shots. <laughs> he, he's tanking turret right now. And it's smart. Minions are minions. Oh, they're yeah, they're back on the turret here. Look at that. What one Q and and he Although, kind of back that damage. This Ooh, is big. a dangerous territory. Jinx with the reset off the tower gets the kill. They're both low. A reset oh from K. God. The return kill. That wasn't a part of the plan. And Tom Kench has suffered a fate worse than death with no war mobs. This this damage will stick around until the next leaf hut run. That's definitely going to be a dead frog when when the wolf comes back. Sean getting the Evil extra Smarty movement speed. Smarty buying the the Kraken Slayer, I believe. We can pull up the items here. Both Kraken Slayers on on either Jinx. No, I, th I think the Kraken Slayer for SJW Queen makes sense. Um, and, and it's typically a good item on Jinx, but with the, the Warwick, I, I would have actually gone with a Gale Force here and tried to get those clutch dodges on Warwick Ultimate. And then that way, uh, that way, that kind of frees up the Tom Kench ultimate to uh, to eat up the Warwick after he's kind that of. That said, Smarty taking in. Grievous wounds here is going <laughs> to really, really, really punish the Warwick healing. Um, Absolutely, crucial in these matchups. And Tom Kench healing pretty well. He's already half health from being almost to zero. Yep, that's yeah. the Leaf Hut run we were talking about. He's he wants this one, but if he walks up to take it, he's gonna get CC'd. And yeah, there it is again. The coming out. Yeah, just doesn't have the patience to wait. Oh! Oh, good, good return and kill from Noir from... with the double kill. Yeah, yeah. That ex, ex, uh, Noir has been really good with those exhausts. Every time that they finish off the Tom Kench, he slaps it on the Jinx and, and makes it really hard for her to run away. Yeah. Also, they, uh, they Sean might even the... be able to get two turrets here. Warwick was able there as well to save his E, which is basically everybody around him gets feared, gets that guaranteed CC. And if you have I that... I don't think they get two turrets, but we will see. He's going oh, in. He's crazy. Engaged. Somehow does not get tra uh, trapped. But I think if he gets trapped, that's like that's like a 2 HP Tom Kench for And we sure. have an even game here. Even gold differential, even turrets. Now, Anybody's we'll see. game at this point. I will say the one benefit that the Tom Kench gets uh, is that they're both primarily AD champions. So it's really easy for this Tom Kench to just stack uh, armor against them. There is some magic damage in the Warwick's on kit, Warwick, but, yeah. but I, think I don't, I don't think it's enough hit, to... Right? It's on hit yeah. magic? Yeah, it's part of his percentage HP damage, but you know nothing, nothing that like a, a single MR item won't, uh, you know, won't counteract. So, and you get a little MR on the Frostfire. Uh, yep. Smarty getting great rocket poke onto the Jinx here, uh, on onto uh, Kate's Jinx, and some return fire onto the Tom Kench again. Not sticking around as much as you'd like. Oh, another Jinx W. W damage off. Another Start, one. Starting to hurt now. Looks like this Warwick, yep. A hard engage. He's looking in for it. Kate gets the... the Jinx. And rather, rather, rather than Tom defending Kench. his Jinx, Tom Kench goes for the other Jinx, leaving this as a 1v1 under the enemy turret for Tom Kench. I'm not too sure about that decision making, but we'll see how it goes. Seems to get out pretty scot-free. Yeah, crazy fight there. And that was what we were talking about, where it's really more of an 80 carat game. The 80 carries are both just hard engaged on and left to fend for themselves. And it's really about who can win their 1v1, respectively. And it looks like, you know, <laughs> they kind of went even here. But this is, in, it's in this matchup, uh, Warwick against TK, that I think Warwick is favored, right? Like, if Warwick gets on TK here, uh, like, Tom Kench is not going to out auto attack a Warwick. It's hard to say with his passive stacking up. There's a lot of things that can go in Tom Kench's favor. I think, I think it it seems to be favored for Warwick, but you know I, I can definitely see a world where Tom Kench wins that. Uh, I'm not ready to to rule it out until we see that one v one actually happen.
I think I think the thing that's going to happen here is is Sean is clearly itemizing into that into that I want to you know press my ultimate on you I want to use the damage reduction of my E and kill you but this build is really squishy and late game this Jinx is going to be able Field to pump. takes that snowball oh and the suppress back that's a dead Tom Kench it, and look that exhaust coming down again immediately yeah. It is, it is, it's like clockwork, right? Tom Kench overextends, gets hit hit by Jinx slow, gets hit by uh, a Warwick ultimate. And it's not like, it's not like, you know, this Kate's Jinx is, is going to hurt. She's going for the rapid fire cannon. So maybe a, uh, just like looking to really keep a safe distance here from, from Tom. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, and although, although the Grievous Wounds is good against the Warwick, um, it's actually it's it's a really inefficient item for eighty carries. So yeah, yes, I'm surprised that Smarty finished it. And they go in. Tom yeah. Kench going in the backline right away. Warwick taking a lot of damage, and this this Jinx is not long for the world. Oh, they can catch them. Yep, that snowball yep. coming in and the, the slow frost fire. Yeah, there we go. I thought he was gonna feed that over to the Jinx, but uh, he says no. I'm 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 hungry for Jinx today, and I'm, I'm gonna take that myself. Sean gets the sunfire. How sun much fire. ground can they pick up in the next 10 seconds? We'll, we'll have to see. I'm not sure if it's going to be a lot. Yeah, they have to push back against these supers. It's going to take them a little mm. while. They'll likely have to clear another wave before they hit the turret. But we'll see. They, they might reach the turret at the same time. Yeah. Pretty back and forth game here. Sean oh, whiffing Warwick ultimate. Whiffs. This is the alt. Whiffs the alt into nobody. But the tower teeing off on the Tom Kench is actually not doing nothing. That's five tower shots into Tom Kench. <laughs> no war mogs on that guy. Um, you can will... see now that now that the Warwick has completed his Sunfire, the the Jinx autos just aren't hitting very hard. Uh, she's gonna have to get a Lord Doms or, or some form of oh, armor piercing. Oh, Kate, before. maybe walking up with the rockets here. She has the slows. Re oh my god. Tom Kench goes in. The Warwick goes back onto the Jinx. Tom Kench goes to fight, but too late. Well played wow. from Kate. She walks up to force the re-engage on the Tom Kench, getting a ton of damage. And then when the Tom Kench dives on her, she walks back and throws traps, not on the Tom Kench, but she throws the traps to zone Smarty from participating in the fight. So it's just Smarty versus the Warwick, and we all know how that story ends. And not, not only that, but the, you saw the Tom Kench go back there to try and eat the uh, uh, the Jinx, and the Chompers from Kate prevented that from happening. Yeah. So well that was a played. double whammy on those Chompers. Well played. Sean engages, ultimate into E, guaranteed stun. That's a dead Jinx, and Kate at this point is starting to pump. We are seeing the frog evaporated. Oh my... It's frog legs for dinner, baby. This is a game. No, that's it. Yeah, we we got we have a series on our hands here, and this is exactly the no mercy that we expected from uh, from Sean and Kate. Uh, you know, they're not they're not looking for any mental warfare plays here. They're just looking to get the job done. We have a game three. Uh, just really quick here, got to get a little something in the Discord. Make sure you unmute Fredboat. We are getting ready for game three, everybody. 